Hello everyone um, welcome back to my channel Tatlo Tip Top I hope with the Christmas coming you have a lot of happinesses uh, fun and uh, health um, in the occasion of the uh, Christmas is coming and the New Year's uh, is approaching right? okay so in the last section of the year 2021 I'd like to bring to you this um, one of the techniques is quite powerful for you uh, in uh, order to print the um, multiple value uh, in, in, in into the chart, right? Okay. The reason why uh, I print this uh, up to the section today is um, I did a side by side chart, and, and and I see this is one of the techniques that uh, if you guys work with the chart, it could be the good one. Right? Uh, let's start from from you know from the uh, rationale uh, uh, why this is powerful technique right? okay so so you know in the if you can really work with the uh, measure value right uh, let me bring it in let's say if I print the measure value in and and uh, and I can if I like to use the measure value in the calculated field, let's say I remove something, you know, and then just uh, I want to use some calculated field uh, uh, with the measure value, right? It is, let's say I, I type measure value here, yeah, it's, it's not up here, right? It's not up here. So 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 how to how to use the how to work on the measure value, right? How to bring the measure value into the calculated field, right? Is is it one of the things that that tab load is not supporting uh, for the moment? But I believe in the future they should support this, and um, because it's important, right? So I have in here actually. Uh, you you guys look into the uh, my chart here. Right? So I bring the quantity profit and sales into the one column right and it's appear in the 12 months of the year right? uh, and in many cases you need to use uh, you need to do the, the, uh, the calculation with the um, with the uh, block of trees measure here right okay and let's say if I need to make the calculated field here is the block called that the business result so here I can I can have the visit result in here in the calculated field right you guys can do that all right so let's look into the way to to uh, to put trees of the uh, value uh, into the one um, uh, in the one block right. okay so actually I have in here I will see the data I have so I think it, I need to uh, remove the pivot. So now I have a three columns here: the sales, quantity, and profit, and I will bring that into the one measure value, right? So I select three of them: three and pivot. So actually, I have a one columns a uh, where you have the sale, quantity, and profit all together, and here you have the result as well, right? So now we see everything in one column. So we can we can we can use the uh, we can use it in the in the calculated field, right? So back to back to my example here. So now I have the visit result, visit result, and visit result value. So it's it's it highlighted you in here. Um, before I put that in the twelve months. I create the the x axis right it's called if the visit result is quantity please move the quantity to the left hand side with the with the space space is whatever number you can put in there one two three zero point one zero point two zero point three you can have church that right? and if the visit result name so you see here, I can use the measure name and measure value right um, in the calculated field 
in the calculated field. If you don't pivot three items together, you cannot you cannot use that in here, right? Okay. So let's see how how how, how it works, right? When it sells, please move to the right hand side, and uh, when it's a discount or whatever, just put that in the middle, right? No move. Um, and then I bring this one into the as a column axis because this one it work. Uh, I want to put in chrome one, so this one will work into the order day. So I let me bring the order day into the detail and put that by month. And I compute using the other day, so it would be when I put the data, it should be in crown months. Right? Um, and then I put the visit result value um, into the view. Here we go. Let's put that in the column in the bar. Sorry. So you see it's actually the 12 uh, bar here. So we need to put that in the it column here in the three bar, right? It, it bar here we divide the three bars, right? Uh, so let's bring the visit result we see including three of them into the view. So now you can see it column we divided in, 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 in three columns, right? In three bar, right? Which is good. Um, here, if you want to match that to 12, so you can do this one and look into the tick and put the this E1 right? and here. So now we have Chrome ones, uh, and you see the sales, you see the profits, and this is the quantity, right? Okay, and um, let's put the visit result into label, so you can see it here, right? So if we label, allow overlap. It's a little bit smaller. Here we are. Okay, so we have this. So now we have it all here. Right? Um, you can you can do one 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 further step with the uh, to have the um, the line chart and then do axis as well. Uh, but the session today is it. I just uh, I just want to share with you um, how to put uh, you know how to put on multiple value together in the, what we call the measure value it is similar with, with measure value but if we use the default measure value of the tableau we cannot work we cannot make it work in the calculated field so the way we do it pivot us uh, in a multiple value together and then we can work out we can we can bring that into the uh, calculated calculated fields and work on that right okay i hope you guys um, enjoy the section and find it uh, useful um, again uh, merry christmas and, and happy new year i talk to you uh, in the section next year thank you very much guys have a great day bye bye